Hi, I'm Bill Shee from Latin American Masters, and we're talking about um, the etching that you see in front of you by the great uh, uh, Mexican uh, artist Gunther Gerso. Gerso was born in 1915, passed away in 2000. He's generally described as being Mexico's greatest abstract artist, and he is that. But, you know, what Gerso is doing in his work can't be fully um, explained by abstraction. What do I mean by that? I mean, this is not art which is merely uh, a series of geometric forms put together in a way that, um, you know, is pleasing in its design. Um, what, what One of the things that really distinguishes Gerso's work from that of uh, many other um, abstract artists is the interiority of the work. When you look at this piece, you see that there's this sort of pink outer surface. The, 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 the majority of this composition has a very flat uh, quality with little scratches uh, and that seem highly charged that are, that are uh, scratched into the surface. But, but this cross-like uh, design that opens up uh, the space of the, of the work leads to an inner uh, uh, work. And that inner work is characterized by a series of forms that to my eyes seem to look like they could be made of cut stone. And they have even on closer examination, some of the uh, markings that stone might have naturally from being um, uh, over, over time being weathered uh, by uh, natural phenomena. They also have sharp, they also have uh, other lines that seem quite straight and man-made. The overall feel of these stones uh, is, um, is, a, is of edges. You know, the edges are very prominent in these works. They have a sharpness, almost a razor-like sharpness to them uh, in the way they jut out from the, uh, from the um, surface area. Notice also that that surface area where the uh, points of that cross section come together. Again, you have these po very sharp triangulated points. Uh, these again get at this idea of cut stone, which incidentally is a uh, characteristic of pre-Hispanic art. Most of the ancient uh, architectural sites that you see uh, throughout the Americas uh, uh, were, uh, and certainly uh, that of the Mayans and uh, Teotihuacan and the Aztecs, they're made of cut stone. They have these sharp silhouettes, and then, then oftentimes they'll have a small interior space. And Gerso's very aware of that architecture, and he's using that metaphorically in his work to suggest something that's both ancestral, very ancient, even timeless in the case of the stone material, and also very modern in design at the same time. And more than just those associations, the work also has this um, quality that, that, I, that really is directed from surrealism. It's the idea that the interior world that one is looking at is the interior world of the mind or of the body. That is, you're looking inside the outer form, or if you want to put it in theatrical terms, the curtain of the work to what's inside and beyond the curtain. So when you look at this piece, you'll see areas of black and even disquieting areas of red that seem both recessed and pushing towards the surface of the piece. So this is the work, uh, a superb example of Gunther Garrison's work, uh, an edition from a, a edition of 50, uh, etched by the artist in 1989. I hope you've enjoyed this discussion. I'll be talking about one more piece in a further conversation. Thank you.